So we're going to have a look at handling with our dogs. So we teach this in our puppy training classes at puppy school um, because it's really, really important to try and start this as early as you can. But even if you have an older dog or a rescue dog um, that's never had much handling training, you can start this at any age. So initially, you're just going to get your dog used to being handled all over with just your hands. Um, the way you do this initially, especially if you've got a dog that's a little bit unsure or maybe a little bit hand shy, is use lots of rewards. So there's two ways you can do it. You can use some sort of quite large treats. <laughs> Millie's quite excited about these. Um, so you can hold them as they nibble them. So Millie's going to give us a nice demonstration there. There we go. So she's nibbling little bits off as I hold it. So that's going to hold her attention. The other thing you can use is a big chew. So something like this, this is a tripe stick, so you can hold on to that whilst they chomp on it. Now obviously if your dog resource guards, um, then using a you know a quite high value chew maybe isn't a good idea, but you can use treats that you can give up quite easily. So all I'm going to do is hold this here and I'm just going to start handling Millie all over. So I'm going to start by stroking her down her back, least sensitive area. And then as she's nice and relaxed and she's not bothered, I'm going to start moving down her legs. Good girl. On the chest and her stomach. Good girl. Holding on to her tail. Yes, tail. So she stopped and looked there because she's run out of treat and I'm holding her tail. Good girl. Well done. And lastly, obviously, her face and head, which is the most sensitive area. So having a good look in her ears. Good girl. Having a look at her eyes. Good girl. Having a look at her teeth. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Okay, so obviously we're using the treats for that. Now what I'm also going to do is start to tie in words with what I'm doing. So when I'm touching her legs, I'm going to say legs, legs. And when I'm picking up her feet, feet. Good girl, feet. So she starts to associate the word with what I'm doing, which makes it easier for her to understand. Legs. Feet. Good girl. Tummy. The back legs can be quite a sensitive area. Picking up back paws. Good. Even if your dog's comfortable with you messing with their front paws, sometimes they won't be very comfortable with you touching their back paws. We're just slightly out of shot here. Oops. You dropped a treat, Millie. I'm just going to wiggle the camera around a little bit. Millie. Out Back over here. So we can see Millie's back feet. Come on, come this way. Go. So again, can pick them up and she doesn't even bother turning around. Good girl, feet. Well done. Good girl. And this is because we've put lots of work into positive reinforcement. So Millie has lots of positive experience with, with me handling her all over. So she gets nice rewards when we do it. So when even when I don't have a treat now. She's quite happy for me to touch her all over. Bella, please go away. Yeah, you know, I can pick up her feet, I can mess with them, I can wiggle her toes around, I can look in her ears, I can look in her mouth and mess about. And because she's had lots of positive associations with it, she's had lots of rewards for being comfortable with me doing that, she's quite happy for me to do that. So it takes a bit of practice. So build it up slowly with your dogs and with your puppies. Don't rush them. If they're uncomfortable, you'll find they'll lose attention in the reward and they'll sort of start turning and looking at what you're doing. When they do that, just stop whatever it is you're doing. Wait for them to get their focus back on the reward before you continue. Because when they're stopping looking at the treat, it's because they're unsure, because they're uncertain. So you don't want to keep forcing the situation. Likewise, don't grab them or, you know, hold on to their paws if they're trying to pull them away or anything like that. It needs to be so that they're giving you their trust to do this. You know, you're, you're manhandling them an awful lot and it takes a lot of trust for them to let you do that. Um, especially in rescue dogs who maybe haven't had the best start. So letting them get used to being handled. Obviously, it's great you being able to do this, but if you can, get other people to practice this with your dog as well. Because what we're looking at doing, obviously, is when they have to go to vets or groomers, it's not just going to be you doing that handling. It's going to be strangers, people they don't know very well. So making sure they're comfortable with it is really, really important. The next step will then be looking at grooming tools.